welcome to the number one spot health and wellness practitioners go to double their current income and turn their 10 hour work day into a 10 hour work week. Join us as we dive into the tips, tools, and tech you need to create a life and practice on your own terms, more freedom, flexibility, fulfillment, and of course, funds. It's time to build your online practice. And I'm your host, Michelle Rogers, also known as The Wealthy Woman. Be sure to subscribe for your weekly dose of education, inspiration, and action. Let's get started. Uh, I'm so excited to chat with you today because, I mean, you already know this, but you're one of like the biggest success stories inside of the Wealth Mentorship. And I I, like can't even wait. I mean, I know everything that happened during the mentorship and I just can't wait to hear where you're at now. So basically, um, I will ask you some questions and we'll dive in. Let me pull those up. So One, I mean, can you just kind of say like who you are and what you do, and then we'll dive into your evolution. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Um, My name is Casey Wallace, and I'm from Oklahoma, and um, I am an osteopathic physician, and I'm married and have three kids and six dogs and two horses and a busy life. But um, I don't know. What else do you want to know? (laughs) (laughs) No, I think that's perfect. I don't think I knew that you had two horses and six dogs. I think we probably would. Wait, no, I did know you had horses because you told me at the retreat. Although six dogs, I did not know that. (laughs) Yes, too many dogs. Um, I'm a little bit jealous. I'm a little bit jealous. I just have one, one little guy. (laughs) Um, So let's chat. I mean, so much has happened, but tell me what life and business were like before the mentorship? Yeah. So before the mentorship, um, uh, it was basically, um, you know, your eight to five, uh, Monday through Friday, go to work. Um, I was, um, in a clinic, um, that was kind of your classic medical practice where, um, you know, go to work, see as many people as you can in a day and come home extremely exhausted and, um, burn out and have nothing left for yourself or your family. Um, so that was before. And, um, I just got, I don't know, probably time is weird, but uh, maybe like two years ago, um, super frustrated with conventional medicine. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to bash conventional medicine because obviously there's a place for that, but uh, I just got really frustrated because there was a certain um, demographic of people that I really just wasn't seeing any improvement, you know, no matter what we did. Um, it just kind of became very much so, well, let's try this med or let's try this med. Um, not really anything too satisfying. Um, so I just got really disenchanted and then I was introduced, um, to functional lab testing and, um, functional medicine. And, um, through that is where I met you through Rupa that I don't know, am I supposed to say that? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Through Through that platform, just listening to one of your, um, lectures or whatever that you did. And that's where I, I decided that I wanted to go into the mentorship um, and had more success than I dreamed of through that just helped me to know like how much other people are disenchanted with the conventional medicine model as well. And, um, through that, I've left the burned out model. Um, I, I do still have a brick and mortar, um, but very much so able to practice more the way I want to practice and incorporate more um, more of everything into that, that actually gets people well, instead of just controlling their disease process or, you know, controlling their symptoms. And, um, and then I have my virtual practice as well, which is going very well as, as well. And, um, so that's where I'm at now. It's completely different. So yeah, let's let's unpack some of that because that was like a whole span like <laughs> yeah. summary. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah. back prior to the mentorship, 
just to summarize, if you were feeling really stuck, you were feeling really disheartened with like the approach that you were Mm -hmm. doing in practice, you weren't seeing the results with your clients. And then as far as like time and flexibility with like your family and like, can you talk more Mm -hmm. about that? And just like, yeah, like what was that dynamic like? I mean, mostly, mostly just feeling just like what I was doing wasn't really making a difference. People were kind of stuck in their same cycle. Um, but for me personally, it was just, um, I've been out of residency for 15 years. And so, um, for me personally, uh, I just was feeling like, Oh my gosh, how am I going to do this for, I don't know, 10 more years, 15 more years, 20 more years. Um, you know, how am I going to do this same thing day in and day out? Um, you know, how many times have I, come across a, well, the insurance won't do this or the insurance won't do that and all the government regulations and, and just things that are really tying your hands when it comes to, um, being the provider you want to be. And so that translated into coming home and feeling very, I don't know, just kind of like just numb, I guess, and like just super burnout and, then that translates into, you know, nothing for yourself or your family. And so um, that's definitely where I was before, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And your work environment wasn't very awesome either, from what I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was not a good situation at all. Um, very much so. It was it was very like, um, it was a very hard environment to work in. And I don't, I don't really know how to describe all that other than just um, it was almost like micromanaged, but not. And I I don't know. I don't know how to describe it other than um, it was just not a healthy work environment at all. So, yeah, 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 totally. Um, We'll dive into where you are now in just a minute, but how did, how did the mentorship help you? Like what pieces helped you? What did you gain most from that experience that you had? Um, I think that mentorship, um, probably first and foremost, just made me really realize that I can do this. Um, you know, you giving all the things that you give us. Um, so even down to, um, the notes and the, the forms you've created and, you know, just all those things, um, were huge for me um, because I had done, I had done a little bit with functional medicine prior. I just didn't really know where to go with it. And so when I found the mentorship and then um, all those things that are available, the lab analysis teaching, and then all the forms were amazing. That was so good for me, but I think more than anything, it was the work I did on myself um, in my own mindset Um, and what that did to transition my, my whole thought process. And, um, even like the retreat, you know, I, I was telling somebody just the other day that the retreat was, um, a huge, huge turning point in my life. And so just in my, my own healing and my, like my marriage healing and, and then just coming away from that feeling like what I'm doing is, is important and I'm worthy of the success that I had had. And, um, so just the, all the mindset work I think was huge in the mentorship too. um, having the, you know, having the office hours available where, I mean, there were times I would just get on there, especially after work and, um, you know, you could, you, you or Christina one would say something. And it was so helpful because I was just so done. You know, I was so tired by that time of the day. And, um, you know, you guys would always kind of say something to, to help me feel okay. You know, so there were so, there's so many pieces of the mentorship that are, I, I can't just name one thing. There was, there's so many things, the logistical pieces, but also like the mindset work and, and all that, that it kind of forces you to do. <laughs> forces in a loving guiding. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Fire. Have you checked module away. 12? You know, like <laughs> when you ask a question at office hours and you're like, no, we haven't checked it. Okay. I'll go back. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, yes. Um, amazing. And then, so let's chat about where you are now. Like, okay, I, I just want to say, okay. okay, how many new clients did you get when you were inside of the mentorship? Um, I think it was 17. I can't remember. <laughs> I kind of lost track because like we were counting and then I don't know. 17, oh I think, God. was the official number. <laughs> I just like every time I hear that, I'm just like, oh my God. Like yeah. amazing, incredible. So, like, <laughs> where has that led you? Like, what are you doing now? Tell everybody why we waited until today to like <laughs> actually get on this call. Like what's going yes. on? Fill us, fill us so in. So I without getting too deep into my other job, I I actually um I guess that's kind of an important part of the story, but um I, I actually I don't have to little... like say anything like identifying or anything, yes. but like just the vibe you can yeah if, if you want, so whatever the, you the feel loan most repayment, comfortable. The loan repayment was huge for me. Like defaulting on the loan repayment was was huge for me. And you you know what I mean by that. And so um knowing that I had to, to, in order to pay that off, you know, I was going to have to stay until September of this year. And my husband and I just kept thinking like, there's just no way, like, I feel like I'm going to die before I get there. You know, it was so bad. And, um, so anyway, I, through the mentorship and through the success of the mentorship and through the mind work that I did, like it became very apparent, like I can do this. And so, um, I set my date for April and um, I ended up leaving that job and I do have the loan default repayment hanging over my head a little bit, but um, just with the success, I've just, you know, it's just money and it's not worth like, it's not like my, my own health and the, my family and all that. So um, just once I started, I just felt like so many things were being aligned for me that um, this was just one more area that I felt like God would provide is, you know, and, and he did like, like through the mentorship, I mean, with having 17 people, like, you know, that was a pretty big sign that it was going to be okay. <laughs> so, um, I've always said, like, even if I won the lottery, I would, I would, um, still practice medicine because I, I do enjoy practicing medicine as well. Um, so I feel like, for me, the mentorship was kind of the lottery. And, um, so now I have my brick and mortar, which is called remedy healthcare. And it's actually a, um, direct primary care practice. And so I still have like a membership based practice where patients can contact me if they have a problem or whatever. Um, so it's just, and it's, I've just been doing that for a few weeks now. And so it's so fulfilling and I have more time with them as well. So, um, it just feels like it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Like I have my program and that I am doing virtually. And then I have remedy, which is still my brick and mortar. And so um, it just feels really aligned right now. Um, so that's where I'm at. That is so, <laughs> and I'm, so I'm cool. sleeping and I feel better. I have more energy. <laughs> That's so, like, that's the important yes. stuff, right? Yes. It's like you have yes. your life back, right? Yes. And like, For I sure. remember so many times, like you'd show up with op at top office hours, like you were saying, like after work and you're just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> I need to get out of here. Yes. And yes. it was just like, really, really, like you said, setting that date and like working towards mm -hmm. that date and being like, okay, like this is the date, like this is what's going to happen. And like really realizing that like, it wasn't worth sacrificing all of this stuff to like yep. fulfill a, your student loan or whatever that was right. like that agreement that you had with the current office. Cause it was like, it was takes taking the life out of out yes. of you and just like really de derailing you and distracting you from like where you needed to be putting your time and energy. 
And I thought what was really cool with you too, Casey, is like with the program that you talk about is like the topic of the program and like what, like that whole unfolding of like how you created that program. I don't know if you're open to talking about your, your virtual practice and like the program that you Mm -hmm. created and just like how, how, yeah, like how that unfolded and how, yeah, how you're doing that. Are you open to that? Yeah. 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 So Originally, my program started more on a, a thought process of, of really working with, with um, mostly women, I mean, men as well, but women like 40 to 60-ish that, that were just chronically fatigued, um, you know, that had no energy, even, even a little bit of like that joint pain, autoimmune piece. Um, but then as time progressed, it became like the brain fog started you know, people started talking about brain fog. And then through that, like I had, um, I had put my mom on my, on my program and we have a strong family history of dementia. And so, um, I started, had started just noticing a few changes in her that just worried me and concerned me a little. And, and she, she did say, you know, like, yeah, I see it and I hear it and I, I'm worried about it. And so, um, through my program, I started noticing that she was doing better and, um, you know, the cognition was better, the brain fog was better. And so I started kind of really thinking, okay, maybe this is, there's something more to this. And, you know, even one day, um, I was with her and I was thinking, maybe the program doesn't really work because, (laughs) you know, um, and then she told me that she was off everything. She wasn't doing any of the, any of it. And I'm like, Oh, okay, well that makes sense. You know? So I really just kind of spurred me on and I did the dementia, the dementia piece, um, with, I don't know if I'm supposed to say, but with Dale Bredesen, the, um, uh, Dr. Bredesen's the Apollo health protocol. I did his program kind of alongside with the mentorship. And um, now I'm working mostly with people that have that brain fog, cognitive decline piece, um, but also that have a family history and they're just trying to prevent. And so um, it's, it has been really interesting to see, um, you know, who gets, who's getting better and who's not. And it's, it, if people are implementing the program, they're getting better. So um, it's just so eye opening, and and at the same time, a little bit frustrating that conventional medicine is not doing this. Like I've I've told people, like when they when we talk about like even the cost of the program and things like that, I'm like I can tell you what's going to happen in the conventional medicine world. You're going to be referred to your a neurologist. You're going to get put on meds, and then they'll see you back in six months, and you won't be better. Like that's just what's going to happen, you know. So seeing the improvement in, in the people that are improving, um, with their cognition piece is just unreal. It's amazing. It's, it's rewarding. Um, so yeah, that's what my program has evolved to is more of a, a, a dementia cognition, um, cognition preservation kind of piece more than anything. So I, I love that so much. And I love like the way you just said, you know, like when people are kind of giving a little bit of pushback or they're concerned about the investment and the pricing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you are so embodied in the work and the value that you're providing these people because you've seen it work. Like you see like, no, if Mm -hmm. they follow the program, it works. And like, so you're coming from this really heart centered place of service to be like, no, like this can actually help you. Like, let me map out what it would look like otherwise. Right. And that's like such a huge mindset piece that you were referencing before is just like your value, your worth, like really embodying like you as like Mm -hmm. this life-saving vessel. Right. And it's like, like, let me help you. And like, I think that that's so crucial, right? Because if you right. don't have that confidence and that embodiment, like you're not able to reach the people who are desperately seeking your help, right? right? And if right. they knew like, oh, a hundred percent, your program's going to work. They'd be like, yeah, of course I'll pay you that. Like no problem. Yeah. Right. But yeah. there is their own self-doubt. And now that you've sort of traversed that own you know, journey yourself of being like, I don't know, can I spend this money out? You know, it's like, you know, where they're at. 
right? Yep. And you yep. can help guide them through that process. So that's just like so insanely powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I love so cool. It. Yeah. yeah. So is there anything else that you want to share about your practice or what you're doing? Do you want to share your handle or like your website or whatever the best way if people want to learn more about your stuff? So that's probably the piece of the mentorship I <laughs> did not do well in. <laughs> so, or your Facebook page or whatever, anything, yeah, anything yeah. So if you my, want, whatever My Facebook you want. is just, um, just anchored to wellness. Um, and I mean, I, I will admit I kind of just stopped like really putting a lot out there right now, just because the, my, my program got so full that it was just kind of like, it was kind of hard to like balance that many people in the, in the virtual program and still do the other not fun job. <laughs> and so it was kind of hard to balance. So and I wasn't really having to, I mean, if this is, this is just, this was what was really cool is like, anytime I would put anything out there, it was like immediate, like somebody else would sign up. So it got to the point that it was like, okay, I can't put anything else out there right now. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I haven't done really good with that part yet. So, okay. That's um, like the beauty of it though, right? That's like best case scenario. Like, oh, I turn the faucet on. I get clients. I turn the faucet off. I don't get clients. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. Or not yes. as fast. <laughs> right. And it's funny because even I was like, well, I'm not going to sign anybody up, you know, in in like March or April during the transition and all that. And, and I, and I still signed up too. And so I, there was part of me that was like, well, I only signed two. And my husband's just like, you still signed up two people, you know? So <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Yeah. So good. So yeah. good, Casey. I'm so proud of you. I yeah. question for you. Last question. Um, if someone's watching this practitioner watching this and they're like really considering the mentorship, but they're on the fence for whatever reason, what would you say to them? Oh my gosh. I would tell them it's so worth every penny. Um, there's so much value, like I've already said with just, I mean, even something as simple as like the, the BSQ, the body systems questionnaire, like so powerful for people to see that, you know, um, I mean, I, I have one that she's finishing up and I mean, she went from like everything. I don't remember the numbers, but you know, it, it was a perfect BSQ, like start and then she dropped at three months and then almost everything was nothing at, at, at six months. So, you know, even something as simple as the BSQ, like those are just things literally, if you're, if you're right there and you just need like the logistics stuff, I mean, it's all right there for you. Um, and then, um, I mean, I think about my, my comrade, you know, Lori, uh, I'm going to shout out to her, you know, just what's happened with her. You know? <laughs> I love Lori. Uh, so, I mean, it's, she was kind of in the same boat, but like she just needed like the logistics piece and boom, look at where she's at. You know what I mean? So like, but, but I think, um, even just, even just the support, um, that you give that, um, with Christina and just all the support, it's just so worth every penny. And, um, I mean, I guess it's for me, I mean, the return on investment was like, <laughs> I don't even know, but, um, it was 10 times or something. <laughs> 10 X you're worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I already have the, like the, the, the loan paid off for that and stuff, you know? So, um, okay. I just, I mean, all I can say is just do it. You know, it's just worth it. It's just worth every penny. So, yeah. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> yeah, I talked to Lori, um, I think it was like maybe two weeks ago or something. She was like halfway through the program, already completely paid off. Like yeah. <laughs> that, this yeah. program and like a previous program she did, she's like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> like, I love her. She oh, she's me. great. Yeah, yeah, she's hilarious. So good. Amazing. Let me see if there's any questions. I want to just check in. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
you see. I don't see any questions, which is great. Is there any last closing remarks that you want to share? No pressure. <laughs> no, I I just think it's great what you're doing, and um, mm. you know that even even like I know we you know the retreat's been kind of like whatever, but but the retreat was so good for me, um, and it's had such a. Um, life change there um just like even with the photo shoot oh. <laughs> you know i that. love those photos <laughs> so good they're so good you know it's just it was all of just all of it was so good so i don't know what i would where i would be if i had not you know listened to that rupa thing and have you in my life and I'm one of the few that's, you know, been blessed to come and, you know, give you a big hug. And <laughs> so true. Yeah. So. Casey keeps talking about the, the retreat because we had the wealth embodiment retreat. Um, oh, my gosh. It's been like six months already. Yeah, it was in November. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. But we will be planning another one, maybe not this year, but probably beginning of next year. So if you guys are interested in the retreat, definitely keep an eye out for that. It was a pretty magical experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for and sure. it was also just like really fun to, to cuddle yeah. with everybody. <laughs> I mean, everybody that was there it was just awesome, you know, to meet people and, and people that we have, we have been on office hours many, many times with. And, um, that's, that's another, the community, like, I guess I should have mentioned the community because, um, I mean, I feel like I can call up on you anytime and be like, Hey, talk me down off this, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The women inside the group are mm -hmm. just like phenomenal. Like everybody who comes in, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Where did this woman come from? <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yeah. For sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Thank you so much, Casey. Thank you. Thanks I'm so proud of you. I'm just like, wow. So proud of you. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank it's you for all welcome. you've done. You're a huge part of that. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of your evening. Thank and I'm you. sure I'll chat with you soon. Yep. Sounds great. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, that's a wrap for today. If you want the exact breakdown of how I help practitioners go from their first 5K to consistent 50K months with just two offers, 10 hours per week, and an audience of less than 500 people, be sure to click the link in the podcast description or head to wealthywoman.co forward slash breakdown. To make sure you don't miss an episode, be sure to subscribe. And for daily online practice insights, follow me on Instagram at wealthywoman.co. Let's create your life of wealth full of abundance, purpose, health, wealth, and joy.